and how I go about dismantling a crankshaft. In this case it's a Yamaha Adi 350LC. So we'll start by looking at the equipment first. Um, this is the old traditional what you call pressing tube and uh, it's long enough to to do four cylinder crankshaft that one <coughs> and um, just basically a plain a plain tube this one's 10 millimeter wall thickness nice and sturdy and uh, same with the, uh, the pressing plate that's 10 millimeter thick stainless steel so I will start off and we'll put the crankshaft in and we'll take out the outer webs first, both, both outer webs and I'll explain why as I go along so we'll put the pressing tube in now you could press it in one go as it is there but what I've made is this extra um, insert to go in the back in the back of the crankshaft basically in the back in the back there I turn that round you can see so I fit it I fit it into there and this what this does it stops the once the the pin starts to be pressed it stops the crankshaft from wobbling over basically like that it'll wobble over if you don't put if you don't put that insert in the back there so that's in and ready to press so I'll put in my first tool, the pressing pin, which is always smaller than the actual big end pin. This gives a wobbly uh, camera. If I go a little bit smoother, it won't do that lit. So we're up onto pressure there. We'll go on to the fine fine pressure and push that and push that half off. And as it gets nearer just get ready to uh, to grab it so it doesn't drop. That's the first one. out <coughs> remove all the old parts we'll leave that one on it's a bit awkward so turn it over and do the same again on the other outer web on the other cylinder Put the insert in, line everything up. And do the second one. seven tons on there. Make sure the crankshaft doesn't hit hit the side there. Or well, you bend the con rod. So that's the second one. Remove those. And that's the centre section complete. I was going to explain why I always do it that way because if you ever have to separate the middle the mid section there you need to mark it first <coughs> and how I do that put the plate on Put a, high, a 
decent quality V block. Put the crankshaft on the V block, and then with the aid of a tungsten scribe. I've already pre-marked it to show you how I do it. If you can see here, and zoom in, you can see some marks I've made there, where I've drawn a line in between. So what I basically what I do with the aid of a scribe, scribe two lines, neat lines on the web there without moving the middle section so let's have some decent lines on and then you've got the marks to line up for later so you know you're going to be at 180 degrees so that's the uh, the first part in the next video I'll show you how I separate that and uh, do the rest of the examination on the crankshaft thank you all again for watching back soon bye